what is subcontracting uh, just process cycle you don't have to tell the movement types and all just tell me the process steps okay so uh, subcontracting process we have to uh, give the raw materials to the vendor and then uh, get it finished back okay okay the, the business process is you give the components and they make a product or they just assemble okay or else they just bending or they will make some shape based on our requirement and they will send the final product that's the subcontract process yeah okay uh, you may give some iron uh, raw iron you will give they will make some small small bolts and they will send to you okay, okay. or else you will give uh, give us some kind of uh, uh, wooden or any plastic kind of thing they will make paint and they will send to you okay they will make some shaping these are all subcontracting process you can tell that we prepare uh, first we prepare the bomb the pp integration you mentioned right that's a bill of yeah. material yeah okay yeah for, in this business process firstly uh, there is a bill of material will be prepared for the final material and the chilled material its parent and chilled materials yes okay and that uh, based on the bill of material a purchase order will be created with item category l Okay. okay based on l we will explode the bomb and give the purchase order to the vendor okay when you are giving the purchase order along with that first we have to do the good issue of components yeah okay first components will be issued and then um, that can be done with me2 or kind of a transaction okay then the goods will be received the final goods then we do the goods receipt can you do the goods receipt system will automatically consume the components which yes. is at the vendor okay once the goods receipt is done and we pay only the service charges to the vendor because components everything we have already given right yeah so okay in case of standard procurement we directly go and buy the final product for 100 dollars okay. okay in this procurement we will give all the raw materials of 60 dollars and 20 dollar service charges and we get the product for 80 dollars okay okay i'm saying just an example yeah okay eight uh, you are saving 20 dollars you are yeah. buying raw material in bulk so you are get, getting for a less price of 60 dollars and um, you are just paying service charges of 20 dollars and final product you are getting for 80 dollars yes okay and if you buy 1000 you are saving 20000 because each piece you are saving 20 dollars for example yeah okay so this is the business benefit if you get any interviewer is asking such kind of questions why should you go for a uh, subcontracting procurement why can't you go for a uh, standard procurement just buy the material and keep it that also we follow okay okay but where the business will follow this kind of uh, subcontracting procurement if you buy raw materials in bulk you are getting for a less price and you are giving to a third party just for making um, what you call some kind of uh, bending or painting or any activities you are getting the final product for a less price compared to the direct buying okay then the okay. subcontracting process will be followed by the business okay if you understand that differences if interviewer is trying to confuse you or if he is trying to ask some questions some other questions from the business process you can answer clearly now you understand right yeah, yeah. why a company can go for a subcontracting procurement okay why can why cannot they go for a normal standard procurement okay. which they generally go okay yeah